Nerd! Welcome, everybody, to the greatest Salty Nerd podcast episode ever filmed. We are talking about The Hunted, 1995 Christopher Lambert movie. And I have to say, uh, the guest list for today's podcast is absolutely incredible. Len Kabazinski, welcome, sir. Thank you for joining us. Uh, you picked this movie this week. I did. I did. And like I said, Matt had come at me last night, not with a real plan, probably, but there's a big difference between uh, there's a big difference between not having a plan and seeing what happens. And we saw what happens. And uh, that's from a Gruber people. Um, you know, I thought Revenge of the Ninja, maybe. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Uh, that's a Shokusagi movie uh, from the 80s, uh, directed by Sam Furstenberg. Uh, who did American Ninja and stuff like that. Mm. You've seen that, correct? Oh, I Revenge of the movie, Ninja. Yes. Yeah, it's a great movie. I almost picked that. I almost picked Ninja Assassin from the Wachowskis or Wachowskis or whatever you told me to Wachowskis. say. Wachowskis. 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 Yeah. <laughs> That's the politically correct way it's to say Kasaki it. Kasaki and Wachowski. <laughs> what is so difficult about this? I don't whatever. understand. The, the, the main point is, you know what the fuck movie I'm talking about. Yeah. And yeah. you guys know. So, in, and Matt had informed me that you guys have seen Ninja Assassin. Yes. Uh, which also has show in it and stuff. So I thought, well, what can I pick that they really, I think they probably haven't seen and should. And it was between Revenge of the Ninja I, I assume you guys saw it, have seen American Ninja. If you haven't, shame on you. But uh, <laughs> I assumed you've seen an American Ninja, so I didn't pick that. But uh, it was between Revenge of the Ninja and The Hunted. And I thought The Hunted has more, and Joe could could agree or disagree with me, The Hunted has more flavor in it mm. than Revenge of the Ninja has because you have the samurais and stuff in it. And I thought that there, this juxtaposition in this film and, and just kind of, uh, you know, everything about it, the, the score is awesome. You, you have some recognizable names. Like you said, it's the guy from Rush Hour yeah, or whatever. Yeah. John Lone is who we're talking about there. Uh, you know, so, yeah, I'm, I'm glad we picked The Hunted. I'm glad you guys didn't, didn't see it. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's a, I, I think it's a really cool movie. Yeah, uh, we had a fantastic time. So if you guys want to watch our full commentary, full-length feature commentary of this movie, go to saltinerclub.com and join up to our club membership. It's only $5. You'll get... A full-length commentary for The Hunted with Len Kabazensky commenting across, uh, for the whole movie. It was fantastic. I had such a great time. Um, so grab that. It's only $5 a month. Uh, you guys can just sign up for one month if you want and just watch that one thing. Or what you can do is you can scroll back in our library and watch all of our awesome reviews that we do for Star Trek, the original series, or old-school sci-fi shows like uh, Buck Rogers in the 25th century and oh, all kinds of really shit. cool stuff. Buck Rogers. Yeah, it was a lot yeah, of fun. So we cool. did a whole month of Buck Rogers. So if you guys want access to that kind of stuff, go to saltinerclub.com. Twi- Twiggy, right? The yeah, beady, 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 I'm sorry, Buck. So I have to also introduce another co-host of ours, Joe from the Ozone Attack. Is that what it is? Ozone Late Night. Ozone... Well, Ozone Late Night is one of the shows that I do as part of the Ozone Nightmare selection of shows because I do too many shows. Right. <laughs> Ozone Nightmare is the umbrella that everything lives under. Okay, Ozone Nightmare. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank, thank you. you for joining us. Oh, thank you for letting me watch this awesome movie that I could watch every night and never yeah. be bored. Joe yeah. is one of the most talented people I know, though. The man is very modest, and you know, uh, but the, the dude can, his art, all that stuff. Go to Ozone Late Night for the art people, because it's amazing. Joe's not going to tell you it's amazing, but I've seen it. Can we can and, we shout out the shirt that he's wearing as well right yeah. now? Go for it. Where, yeah. where can we get this? This you can get on threadless.com slash Ozone Art Foundry because my artist name is Ozone Art Foundry. I have this Ozone thing. So the show is Ozone Nightmare. My artist name is Ozone Art Foundry. I'm sorry. I really am. I know it's like 50 names. But yeah, I drew this a while ago. This is actually in the opening animation on a couple of the episodes that we've done. Yep. Um, But you can buy it there. Right on. Um, You should do it. I've made it as cheap as I can. There's a floor that they won't let you know. And and I hear this. Len, where's your t-shirts at? Where's your t-shirts at? People, he just told you. <laughs> there so, you go. So there you go. Right on. And producing the show, as always, Matthew Kadish is also here. What's up, dude? Yeah. So two things. I always have a plan. <laughs> I, I even told you, I was like, I'm going to ask Lynn yeah. what ninja movies we should watch because yep. he was talking about how much he loves ninja movies. Second of all, uh, Matt Vader and Jude are both insanely jealous that they could not be here tonight. <laughs> Matt, Matt Vader is working and Jude is babysitting. So like they weren't able to attend, but... Uh, We had a great uh, spread of pizza and wings, Mm -hmm. and then we watched this movie, and we recorded the entire thing, Uh, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Lynn is just an encyclopedia of knowledge about ninja stuff. Oh, and Joe had his A game on the whole time, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Joe, Joe, you were on fire the whole time with all the comments. Having both of you there while we were watching this movie, for me, it was the first time, was 
incredible because you guys were like, you're pointing out things and I was like, oh my God. I guarantee you if Alex had watched this by himself, he would have come in and been like, this movie sucks. No, 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 no. <laughs> this but, was but, way but better. But because Len says it's awesome, now this is the coolest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. You need no. a stamp. Len's stamp of approval. Like, cool. I'll, I'll tell Let's you. Blue, do Blue Steel together now. Or it's just like, you know. I'll tell you, when you told me we're watching the Christopher Lambert ninja movie, my original thought you're was, like, this guy oh, sucks. shit. <laughs> that's a fair, that's a fair fault. Crazy. I was that's like, a fair fault. oh no. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. Matt, and then who's this fucking Len guy? <laughs> <laughs> this is the recommendation from Mr. Ninja Expert right. Len. Yeah, yeah. But this then, guy is so cool with his muscles and his motorcycles <laughs> and stuff. But he's a douche. And he picked this crazy Lambay film. <laughs> and Lambay is not even really the star. Which no, he's really not. not. He's, he's not. really not. No, he's not. He's, not. he's there for the international flavor, and that's yeah. it. Yep. Yeah, but this movie We're going to get to that question. I want to come back to that because I think that's a really interesting discussion right there. Yeah. This this movie was surprisingly good for me personally. I had a fantastic time throughout the whole thing. Setup and payoff was there. The graphics were there. The fight scenes were amazing. That ending fight scene in the rain, I, I'll talk yeah. to you guys about it in a minute. It was fantastic. I had a surprisingly good time. So I hope you guys go over to the Saltinger Club area and go watch our commentary of it. I promise you it'll be worth the $5, even if you just sign up for one month. Head over there. Without further ado, we usually have Jude do a synopsis, but um, Len, do you, can you can you no. go, can you do one off the cuff? No, no, I, I no. I mean, I can, but I won't <laughs> because this man <laughs> is my man for the Forgotten Movie Den on, okay. on my Patreon, but Joe is my man that does all the synopsis for every single fucking episode sure. we do. Okay. Joe, yeah. what did we watch when we watched 1995's The Hunted? Well, if you're in the mood to see a New York computer chip maker with a <laughs> weird accent and no talent for women, yet the most talented pickup artist you've ever seen of one Fuck of the yeah. most beautiful and an women in the film. a fitting suit. A, a beautifully <laughs> fitting suit because it's up to his neck as far as his waistline. <laughs> if you want to see him accidentally stumble upon ninjas who somehow fail to kill him, and then stumble through the rest of the movie as everybody but him does something to try to stop them while constantly complaining and seeming like he's ungrateful for them trying to save his ass. This is your movie. You get to watch Christopher Lambert hide, go in the corner, <laughs> fire a gun at close range, and actually hit something randomly. As everybody else cuts a path of blood and destruction, you're going to see innocent people get cut down. You're going to see bad guys, good guys, people in tan, people in black, rain, blood, bad blood in the beginning, but it gets better. You're going to see it all. Just don't come for Christopher Lambert if in, an, in a Highlander-esque role. You will be and unlike Fortress, there is no Christopher Lamb ball sack. No, no ball sack. No. No, ball sack no, there's no ball sack a lot of in it. And, but I'll, I'll, I'll go off uh, you, Joe, for a second, though. I think the real thing in this movie is, people, if you're going to watch it, it is samurai versus ninja yes. mm -hmm. throughout the whole movie. Yep. But if I can start this off, I think this is a really interesting discussion. We mentioned the Christopher Lambay part or his role in this movie. We mentioned, you know, I kind of got on Matt because I was like, well, who do you want in this movie? Do you want Alec Baldwin instead <laughs> and of him? Yes. And he said yes. And he said yes. I like, actually oh, want the lesser Baldwin. I, I, could, I want Billy I Baldwin. Feel, no, no. I, it was like somebody kicked me a little bit <laughs> in the Jimmy. And it was like when he said Alec Baldwin can do this and Christopher Lambay can't. Uh, well, I got news for you, Matt. Alec Baldwin wasn't Highlander. Sorry. So, yeah. you know what? If we can pick, we know what his pick is, but I want to do it anyways. If you can pick, if, if Lambe is so replaceable, because I think we can all agree the character isn't. You have to have that yeah. character. Well, he moves the plot the forward. The actor for sure. can be replaceable. Pick your replacement for Christopher Lambe. Matt, you're up. Sean Claude Van Damme. Get no. out of here. <laughs> no. He's got the he's same He's got to be an American microchip. You you buy him as a microchip <laughs> Yeah, he's got to be a nerd. Hey, I, 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 ju I just nerd. bought him as a Hong Kong fashion designer. So like, you know, It'd be it's like, up there. Uh, you know, I saw this <laughs> microchips and uh, yeah, it's Ninja uh, Semi <laughs> <laughs> or something. What or about, and in that period, he's already fucking coked off his ass right, for Street Fighter. What about Steven Seagal? <laughs> He's too much of an action star. See, the thing about Christopher Lambert is like, you don't see him as an action star, which puts him in a, a weird place. Match. Yeah, they in a weird place where, like, if if he's a goofy computer nerd, you buy it. But also, right. when there's an action scene that pops up, you're like, goofy oh, okay. well, white. Yeah. No, we're going for right? goofy what, white what about people. Rob here? Schneider, goofy white people. Oh, Rob, no, he, he's no, believable as a man. computer too salesman. Much, too much. Can, too I much. Offer, can I offer my pick? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> He still hasn't picked. He's just throwing wild curveballs. Uh, no, no, at us. no. But now I think he's getting in the right direction, though. I nerdy white guy. I yeah. hate the Rob Schneider pick, but you're not wrong. 
I I like that more than Alec Baldwin. He was already the shadow at that point or whatever he was doing. Right. Who, who also sucked. had the actor no, Blake it Kenji in it. Oh, the shadow's not good, dude. Oh, but, come on. Well, yeah, we could do on, a whole, we'll do a whole on, show on that sometime. On. I, I, I've actually reviewed the shadow. I love, the shadow. I, I love that movie. I love that moving movie. Moving on. I'm going to agree to disagree. But <laughs> the Rob Schneider pick, you're right. I could have saw them trying to do. Let, let's be trendy in the mid nineties. Yeah. Let's get Pauly Shore to do this oh, nerd Jesus ninja. Christ. Ever, but it's am I? Far. Am I? It's too far into that direction. Oh, yeah, but, it's too far. It, it's weird how Christopher Lambert just goes uh, right in the middle. Yeah, no. Um, final picks, Matt. Your final pick is final. it Alec Baldwin. Well, you keep throwing Alec Baldwin at me, and I, I, I keep saying yes. I do. Because <laughs> I, you know, he's you're just four forcing times, it on him. Four times know, right? he said yes. Yeah. I'm, keep, I'm going to keep drilling him because I can't believe it. I'm just like, are you sure, Matt? Are shock. you no. sure? I, yeah, I, I am. I'm in like a, a I shock. That, that, yeah. No, I understand it. I understand it. Uh, I, I, like I mean, it, I mean I we can go with Michael Douglas with the Black Rain thing. I, you know? Okay, that's a good okay. choice. Michael that's a good choice. That's a good choice. So I just, real quick, I just picked up like um, 90s movie stars and I'm just scrolling through here. Ben and Affleck. Matt no, Damon. no, no, no. I'm actually, no, older oh, than God, that. Oh God, he hasn't even done Halloween 6 to or me, whatever it was. One, yeah. There's I'm only going, one choice for me. I'm going no, a little bit Paul older. Rudd, I'm sorry. I'm going to say um, Liam Neeson might not be a oh, bad choice. Oh, okay. Yeah, Liam yeah, yeah. Neeson. Yeah, yeah. This okay. is this is before Taken. You're going to be yeah. surprised at my pick. This is also before this Star is the Wars. Rob Roy you guys are all yeah. going to be surprised at yeah, my Liam pick Neeson, for this. I can, I can see that. Yeah, I can, I can see, see. I can see Liam Neeson. I mean, I can see. I can I see totally Alec can see it. That's a great yeah. choice. Dude. Yeah, that is a great pick. Um, I'm going to go last because. Okay, I'm so go Joe, last. Who, Joe, who's your you replacement for Christopher Lambert? Kurt Russell. Oh, I mean, it's, 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 I don't even have to think because he basically did a version oh, of the nerd yes, in yes. Uh, Big Trouble in Little China. He yeah. went into the yes. uh, whorehouse and he was movie. playing a nerd. And he would have Wait, had much you better one liners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, was, was he yeah. too big of a star, though? When did, no. when did this Well, forget from... about all that. Just say if you were okay. making this movie, okay. who replaces it or who can you see in it? I, yeah, I, I think Joe wins. Well, wait. Well, let's see. Well, I'm not done yet. So we have is Michael Douglas your final pick? Sure. I think that's a great choice, Matt. I really, I see that because if the Black Rain, we talked about that. I see it. Your choice was Liam Neeson. I think that's great. But, and he wasn't a star. Yeah, he was low point. enough key. Had, yeah, low key enough to. But not. he had done a movie called Next of Kin. Let's, <laughs> let's revisit Ooh, that. Patrick in a Swayze. That's my choice. Swayze. My choice Swayze. is Patrick oh. Swayze to do. <laughs> Crazy yes, Swayze. That is my choice. So who wins? My choice is Patrick Swayze. Uh, I, I got to go with Kurt Russell. I want to see in the comments below, guys, who's your favorite right. replacement right. pick for Christopher Lambert? The only Kurt Russell, I think, is an amazing a choice. Yep. I think Liam argument, Neeson is good. I think Michael Douglas is good. Patrick My choice Swayze. is Patrick Swayze. My only argument against Swayze is I think he's too good looking for the role. Hmm. I think I he mean, can't play a nerd. Give him too long foo. Yeah, I mean, I'm not disagreeing, but I don't. I Kurt Russell <laughs> has this weird middle ground, just like kind of Lambert does, where he can he can come off very clunky. Swayze can look I, at. I, I still think Rob Schneider's probably the way to uh, go. I, 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 you know, I could <laughs> see the, a studio green lighting that in yeah. 1995. Because we just watched. Holy crap, with that maybe, maybe Chris Kattan. Uh, the problem, the problem, I'll tell you uh, honestly, the problem with Schneider. I feel like I'm kicked I, 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 in the ground. I'm holding my nuts right, right now. I'm trying to I'm like, inflict as much pain on you. Are, as I can tell you are. Yeah. I know, you just want to get those reactions. You're going to get those no, short clips. I, I, I'm holding my nuts right now. My, my, my we, right hand. We should people, point out that just, earlier today, Lynn did kick you in the nuts multiple times. Yes, multiple did. times. Yeah. With pride. <laughs> I'll take that with pride. You guys um, asked for it and I delivered. Okay, so the next thing I really want to talk about with this movie is somebody that I. You don't know his name, but if yes. you see his face, you recognize him. John Lone. Yes. When uh, when Great he showed actor. up in this movie, I was like, oh, that's the dude from, yep. what did I say, Rush Hour or something yeah. like that. Yeah. You always know he always does a fantastic job. Yep. He always almost actor. always plays yeah. a villain. And uh, generally he has most of the yeah, stuff people yeah, would yeah. know him from. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately yes. recognizable. Yes. And he plays yeah. the main bad guy in this movie. Right. Kinjo. Let me let me. He's also the main bad guy in the shadow with Alec. Kinjo, the ninja. Yeah, you and yeah. I are gonna have to go back and forth on the shadow at some point. I'm I think with John that. Lone, he's got what we call a Disney villain face, hmm. where it's angular and uh, he can't play a good guy. He just can't. He's also got the great villain voice. I was going to say, the, that's, he, what the, he, that's what puts he, over the He's top. got the voice. He's got the angular face and stuff. It's much like, I'm going to be jealous of Matt forever for this. It's like Billy Drago. Mm -hmm. He can't play a good guy. He yeah. just can't. He yeah. has the face. He can't yeah. do it. It's impossible. And John, it's impossible. And John Lone is that. Mm -hmm. And But not only that is what Billy might not be able to have done, John Lone can do, and it's play the sophisticated 
mm-hmm. looking villain. And John Lone can, I, I think he nailed it in this movie. Yeah. I think you, when he's on screen, you can't take your eyes off of him in The Hunted. That's my opinion. Much like The Shadow, I'm going to keep pointing out <laughs> because he is a stellar villain. I, I, I just think it was great. By this. I think I'm was shocked. Great. That, 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 was was going, great. that was going to be his big entry into the American cinema market. And, and, right, and when the movie failed, uh, he kind of like went off the deep end. That's, that's a, that's a crime because. All that aside, John Lone is stellar in that film. Yeah. Did you know yeah. that The Shadow was directed by the same director? Highlander. Who did Highlander. I did, actually. Mm-hmm. That's mm. one few things. I love The Shadow. The character, I'm, I'm so into that thing. It's I, a great I, character. The movie, unfortunately. Didn't the movie is not movie. great, but it's good. So I think one thing we can go around then and talk about is what surprised you from The Hunted, if anything. Matt, what surprised you about watching this film? So there were two set pieces in this film that were like masterful. And I'm surprised that they haven't been clipped and memed to death on YouTube and stuff like that because they were brilliant. The first was the train scene. No, mm-hmm. Everybody knows it. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yep. The second was the climactic fight in the rain of the Samurai versus Ninja. Yeah. That's, that fight scene was epic, legendary. Yeah. Like, I, I'm well, genuinely surprised that those two scenes have not gotten more No one attention. talks yeah. about them. Nobody does. Especially the train. The train scene was amazing. It was brutal and, 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 and that is why we're here, people, doing yeah. <laughs> this podcast right now. Go out and watch this. It's free on Tubi. There's really not an excuse for it. Don't watch Little Nicky. Hit, hit the pause <laughs> button on Little Nicky and watch Ooh, the Adam hunting. Sandler instead of Christopher Lambert. Uh, no, no, Jesus, no. <laughs> no. Even I have to react to that. Fuck Please, no. God. Fuck no. No. Fuck no. No. Let's do Polly Shore then. At least he yeah. was a fan of the Mall Eric's yeah. Revenge. We, we can hang that. Man, I just watched that. that. What a weird flick. I know. That so, was a theatrical release. Uh, theatrical release. Uh, Yoshio Harada. Yoshio Harada <sighs> plays the, the stoic samurai. Dude, he's probably the coolest person I've seen on screen in a long time. I know. He plays this stoic samurai that has like just a tilt for revenge perfectly. And we're talking about that train scene. So they're the, it's the legendary. They, they've got Christopher Lambert. They're, they're protecting him. He's injured. He's just gotten out of the hospital. They, we don't know at this point yet, but we, he's being we, we used we need as to bait. set up. Why is Christopher Lambert being hunted? Okay. All right. Okay, fair enough. Sure. Fair enough. So the opening scene. So Christopher Lambert goes to a bar in Japan and hooks up with the most gorgeous person there in a Joan Chen? red, red freaking Beautiful dress. Lots of side boobs. Side Lots boobs. of side boobs. There's some nip slip in this movie as well. A little bit. And uh, they go upstairs and they go have some funky time in a hot tub. And uh, she is apparently has been targeted by somebody as a hit for these ninjas. So the ninjas show up at her place. Christopher Lambert bounces just as they enter. Then he decides he's going to come back. He comes back. Well, he left. He, the, he, he had the key. He had yeah, the key. The he had the key. Yeah. So he he came back and he watched her get assassinated by these ninjas. And because he saw it happen. He saw Kenjo's and he, face. And he saw Kenjo's face. They now have to kill him. And who's Kinjo? Kinjo is John John Lone. John Lone. He's the head assassin. He's the head of the Nakato. 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 Yes. yes. So and no one's ever seen his face outside. Yeah. Nobody. Of the clan. Yeah. Nobody. So that sets the premise for the, the whole motion of the movie is them trying to hunt down Christopher Lambert's character because he knows what this guy looks like, and uh, they're chasing him through. They, they he teams up after he gets out of the hospital. He teams up with this Japanese stoic badass. Not by choice. Not by choice, but he just. They're like, well, you're coming with us. They kidnap right. him. For a well, reason. They kidnap For a reason. Well, well, they're also like, we're the only ones who can protect you. Well, they say that. That's the but cover story. Are That's they, the cover though? story. Are yeah, right. yeah. That's exactly right. That's the cover story. Well, are well, they it's really? It's funny because there was uh, um, Asian Columbo who was in the movie. That's Asian Columbo. And, and before he dies, he says that, like, you know, the only protection you need is a well-trained police officer with, with a, a gun. gun. <laughs> and then the ninjas proceed oh, boy, to kill here, all here the well-trained police officers with a gun. He dies in politics now. And, yeah, yeah. I feel and, like and there's some gun R- politics here. Yeah, it was R.I.P. Asian Colombo. Yeah, man, what yeah. Shame. Yeah. yeah, shame. That was a good little role. Uh, but so they 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 get onto a bullet train, which is of course classic Japanese cinema. If you're on a bullet train, you know shit's going to go down. Not like this though, because it <sighs> goes down. It goes down in this yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> the ninjas know that they're there for unknown reasons at the moment in that movie, but we find out later why they know he's there. So they go into, they enter the train, and they say, "Kill everybody," because the last time we let people live, it backfired on us. Yes. Mm. Earlier, Christopher right. Lambert uses uh, crowd. Yes. He mm. figures out a very smart way to get a person chasing him to be overwhelmed by a panicking right. crowd. And, yep. so now, and, and we are in a Japanese casino or yeah. whatever Chico at that yeah. point. Yeah. 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 So in this t- in the ninjas have learned their lesson and they're like, this time kill everybody. Yeah. So they proceed to just massacre the entire train. As, as many people as they see, they're killing them. And yeah. it's just a bloodbath. 
And they're working their way through the train to where Christopher Lambert is hiding, being protected by Yoshio Harada. Yes. Uh, and this well, is where... You're fluent in that now, man. You're no, flowing. I'm getting there. Hey, it's Yoshio almost Harada. like I've done this before. Yoshio <laughs> Harada. Yeah. Yeah. Yoshio Harada. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. All right, good. Uh, so they they kind of hunker down in like a... I guess it's like a bar car. It's like it's got a, like a bar yeah, to like it. Yeah, like a food car. Food or whatever. car yeah. or whatever. Yeah, well, there was candy in it. There, there was yeah. King Mints. Kiss yeah. Mints. Kiss Mints. That's what I'm saying. It's general food car. Yeah, yeah. But not before he like hacks the fuck out of it. That's what I was going right. to say. So in order to prep the battlefield, which I you, you commented on this. Well, yeah. no, that's the first thing I would do, to yeah. be honest. If I have a, a, a if I have a longer range, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. uh, reach advantage weapon, I'm going to cut down everything that might stop yeah. my reach advantage. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, and that's what he does. He cuts down posts and stuff like that that might get in his mm-hmm. way from chopping people. Because now, when there's nothing like that that you can hide behind, what's going to happen? You have to take this dude on one on one. This yep. bad motor scooter with this <laughs> with this sword that'll slice you in half. And yeah, I, I, it's one of my favorite scenes in all of them. And we have it to really know is. this is this is actually something that I always appreciate in that entire scene. Everything he's doing, there's never a point where he looks tense. Nope. No, worried, he's cool scared, as fuck the whole cool. time. Yeah, he's he wearing his just, tie the whole time. Right, time. he wears his tie, his awesome button-up shirt mm-hmm. and stuff. That, as if he's prepared for this his entire life, which he has. He has. Yeah. Yep. That's why. It's great. Did, and did, a perfect did, actor. Did they him. ever explain why he was so obsessed with like killing the, the ninja? Well, they killed his a, family. Yeah, they, were, they, they were systematically like yeah. killing the Takeda family. Yeah, that's like a generational. Yeah. 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 Yes, it was a war generation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that's why. Yeah, but the what struck me about this scene, especially because I've never seen this movie before, and I, I, I don't. Mean, I'm I would not love even, to experience this the first time. I'm again. not oh. even familiar with this actor. I've never seen him in anything else before, so I'm not familiar with any of these other characters. But. Just his absolute freaking dead cold stare. Like you normally. For, the camera loves him. Yeah. The for, camera loves for him. For like an actor when you're like, oh, he doesn't show any emotion. You're like, well, you need to show something because, you know, you're about to go into battle. No, right. this dude is just freaking. He's a robot. Yeah. Right, 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 right. He's facing down like seven ninjas and he's got his hand in his pocket heard, and his he does, sword. He, he pulls the orange Cassidy where he puts the hands in yep. his pocket. He's, and just, like, he's just what are you going to do? Yeah. Right. What are you going to do? <laughs> And he's right because nobody touches him. No, yeah, I mean, absolutely. He's an absolute stoic badass. And this whole sequence of events where he's just like taking on these ninjas, and it, he takes on not the head ninja, but like one of the top no, tier the ninja, female, the, 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 the top she, does female. She cut him. She cuts him, right? I think she cuts him. I think she might touch him. Yeah, yeah she she, she's hit, the only she one because him. she's so. And that's the yeah, establish she's how high up there is, in, so in, in, in the Nagato rank or whatever. Right. She was high up there, and but, she was almost like borderline like witch or something. Yeah, in, yeah, in, 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 yeah. Their, in, their, in their stuff. You, you know who that guy reminds me of? The head samurai guy is the the dude that they cast as the head of every Japanese. Uh, you know, oh, character. in modern movies, yeah, yeah in modern right? movies, uh, Hiroyuki Sonata. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, and that guy's awesome. Yeah, yeah. The, the, name this, a movie. This, this was like oh, the, he the was previous. In, he was in the re- most recent John Wick Four. Wasn't he? In the he was line, the Japanese in hotel the line of fire three. Was he in the line in the so, line so, of fire three? So he he was okay. in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's been, I know, I know who he he's is. basically yeah, I know who he is now, he's yes. basically in yes. every single he's movie that has a John Wick friend that has the yeah. He's Scorpion, right? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's cool. Yeah, that's the most recent movie I know. But he's in a ton of movies. He's cool, but. Of those two guys, I oh. still want the hunted guy on yeah, my side. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, totally. But I mean, like, this was the guy, like, so unfortunately, this actor passed away yeah. from pneumonia yeah. in 2011. Yeah. But this was the guy yeah. that that, um, I th- that I think he replaced. Yeah, basically. I think what Matt's kind of to say is like if they were to recast this movie it's now, him. they would play it's him. him. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah. fine with that. Yeah, and he might be great. I'm I mean, fine. I'm be, fine with that. Really good. Um, yeah, yeah, he was also in the movie Bullet Train with Brad Pitt. Oh, he was. That's yeah, right. yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. That was that. Andrew Koji. It was okay. That's all right. It's Bullet Train with Brad Pitt. Should I watch it? Wait, Andrew Koji. You wouldn't be sorry you watched. Yeah, he was. He was the the son of of Hiroyuki Sonata. Holy shit! I need to rewatch that movie now. Yeah. I love Andrew Koji. Um, okay, so before we move on, I, I need to talk about the death scene for the female assassin on the train. Yeah. Because this was something that we had a conversation with. I preface this, yeah. You know, during the commentary when we were watching it together, we were like, if they had the budget, it could have been so much more gruesome, but is it better that it's left to our imagination? So for context, so uh, the the main ninja, not I'm sorry, not the ninja. The lieutenant. <clears throat> Female lieutenant. The main yes. female lieutenant goes up against the Japanese stoic badass, uh, and she loses. But, but you because, can't see her face, right? But because she lives under the ninja rules, you, you see cannot her see her face. So what she proceeds to do is, Joe, take it away. What does she do? So she takes a short sword. What is the name of the short sword? That's a tanto. Tanto. 
Tanto knife or sword? Is it considered a sword or it's a knife? It's a sword, it's a sword. technically, okay. yeah. So a short blade and mm -hmm. basically puts it to her temp or to her, her, to her forehead off, yeah. and goes like this and the camera cuts. But yeah. what you know is that she has sheared her face off. Yeah. That's what you know. Face off. Oh, exactly. <laughs> yes. Nicholas Cage should have been the Nicholas <laughs> <laughs> Cage. Nicholas Cage would have been a good That was another yeah. 90s actor. I was like, Nicholas Cage? I don't know. Well, oh. he was at he was at his height back yeah, then. Yeah. Yeah. He was yeah. at his height back then. He's here in uh, Vegas. We got his God. I would love to get I'm him in the hunted, studio. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I'd watch it in a heartbeat. Um, Hell yeah! So, for I mean, me, so the debate is: yeah. Would it be better if they had the budget slash technology to make it debate, work yeah. effectively on camera to see like her face peel off and you see the skull underneath, or is it better? See, I, I think to it, cut away. I think it's better to leave it to the imagination, imagination? Be because it's much more disturbing. Very it Spielberg. sticks with you, yeah, longer. I will never forget that scene. Yeah, very Spielberg. I yeah. get it. Joe, your opinion. I, I think that the only way it could work if you show it is it has to be so brief that you really can't. I mean, you'd have to freeze for I'm going to play right, off yeah. of this in a but, second. But, but to yes. me, I think it is better because th this movie does feel like it is very cinematic. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's got a lot of ambition. It's got a lot of be really beautiful shots. Mm -hmm. And so I think it is better to let you picture what that is. And there is some kind of, and this is going to sound weird. Maybe I'm just going off. Middle, Spit it out. Nowhere. There's some kind of dignity to it that I think that seeing it takes oh, away. Oh, okay. There's like a nobility to it. For that character in that moment, I like the fact this. that you don't see it. Because so if Quentin okay. Tarantino had directed this movie, we 100% would have seen it. Okay. Oh, we would have seen you're, it. You're I, I, I disagree. Alex? I completely disagree. Really? Yeah. Really? Tarantino is very good at restraint when, when in what he's choosing to show and what huh. he chooses not to show. I think he probably would have filmed it the exact same way. Really? really? That's interesting. Yeah. Or he would have your, gotten Gonzo your thought, though. No, I want to know your thought um, first, Alex. I, I've got my, yeah. Okay. I'll, so my my personal belief on this is if it was done properly, and I'm, I'm going to reference uh, Indiana Jones' The Last Crusade on this, that scene of the melting face and the blowing up head at the end of it, you never forget that scene in that movie. So I don't think the brutality, landmark, I don't yeah. think the brutality of it would have taken it away from it. I think it would have stuck with you just as much, if not more based off of my experience with Raiders of the Lost Ark, when you see that head explode, that's a scene when you're a kid and you're watching this movie and you're like, that dude's freaking head just blew up or that guy's face just melted off because of the power of God. Like that was a quintessential scene for that movie. I think if it was done properly and they had the right budget and the right, like a like almost like a John Carpenter-esque, like, um, a pro, uh, not prosthetic. What's the word I'm trying to get to? Oh, no, that'd be a prosthetic. Uh, practical effect. A practical effect. Practical yeah. effect. You'd, you'd yeah. be using a prosthetic. Right? Yeah. I, I think it could have worked really well. I would have liked to have seen it. Uh, yeah, with me, here's how I would have done it, people. What do I know, right? I made swamp zombies. But <laughs> what I would have done is I would have tied a prosthetic mask. Uh, again, all this is done in a split second. Mm -hmm. Split second. We're, like, like, we're talking like three frames. Split second. Tie a mask to the actual blade and have her start to peel it maybe down to her nose quickly and then cut. Mm. So you at least get a bloody mask here. And then the, it cuts. So, so cinematic blue balls. That's, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, I, I think we're going to show I, you I, just now, enough. Just Would enough you? that that what you. But tell me this: you can't tell me the audience wouldn't go, "Oh shit!" You know, if oh, you yeah. saw a bloody mask over her eye sockets. I, I was going to ask: Are you going to keep the eyeballs the, with no we're, lids? We're, no, no, keep the eyeballs. And no then lids. Just a mask. Yeah. Of okay. Blood. Okay. And then, but it cuts. But it would have been boom, boom. Yeah. It would have been really, really done fast. Fascinating. But I, don't I think, think there's a wrong you, answer either. I don't think either. I, <laughs> no, no, I don't. I think if no, it's no, done no. properly. I don't think there's a wrong answer in any of yeah. this. But I, I also would have at least showed things. red. Okay. You know, that initial peel and then, or that cut and then fast cut. I was going to say, what if it was that you then see her falling and you get the blur of it? Instead of seeing it all crystal clear, but uh, you just you see know, enough to I'm know not, the face is missing. I'm not... I would say, you know, the pacing of that fight, though, is so beep, 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 yeah. beep, 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 the whole yeah, time. Yeah, it was a very fast scene. I don't know if you have time to see a body fall, no, right. even if you see it for a split second. Sure. I don't know if the pacing of that fight. Yeah. Marvel, call me. I'll fix <laughs> shit. I will fix shit like Iron Fist. You got to call me. Oh, God, but Iron Fist was... I know, and I love that character dearly. I know, you I, have I'm a tattoo, right? I'm blue-eyed people. Yeah. I don't want to play Iron Fist. Iron Fist. I'm too old for that. But uh, I can fix it, directing and storyline people. So you play uh, stick. Uh, what's that? Play stick. Okay. You yeah. could play stick. Yeah, sure. I can see sure. that. Sure. Stick's a daredevil character. Man. Yeah, that's true, but you could put him in. 
there's a lot of <laughs> blurred lines in Disney Marvel now. So, you yeah. know, it's fine. Yeah. I believe you could fix it, though, because Iron Fist was awful. I know. And I'm, I was massively disappointed. I believe Because it, I yeah. love Iron Fist. So you know, I transplanted Stick into there because it was so much of a better series. Wow. Yeah. You yeah. know what wasn't awful? Was this train scene. This train scene was incredible. Yeah, incredible. But that's yeah. what I would have done. I would have tied a prosthetic mask to the blade. Okay. And the, the, just a half. So you're just going a half. Bit. Yes. Me and Joe are going full. Just enough. I'm going no. You're going, you're going nothing, nothing. None at all. Okay. J just as it was. Try oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Comment I, I, no, I'm with, I'm, with Matt, I'm with Matt on this. I say no. No. Okay. Oh, okay. I said you could. I said I don't I'm think it's, a little bit. I don't know if there's a wrong answer, but to me, it's the dignity of not seeing. That's okay. what I was saying. Oh, I, okay. I like oh, that. Also, you have to realize that this character who sheared her face off, like right before this, we saw her in the most awkward threesome. Oh God! Like, right. put on film. Yes, with yeah. no nudity. Well, well, no nudity. No nudity. nudity from her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's but, in a robe and she stays nude. The, so that the, well, actress the, probably said, "I'm not doing the nude scene." But John Lone's going for it. Well, the bad guy wiseoed her belly button. He did. He did. He went full wise. It's pretty. It's a strange. <laughs> like he, he had a really hot sequence. naked girl behind him, and, and she he's was like, "No, I don't need that. I'm going to go for the belly button." I'm going to go right for the belly button. Your clothing. Maybe yeah, we'll yeah. get something accidentally. Well, like, just the that. naked girl behind him was kind of like just standing there, like, "What am I supposed to yeah, do?" Right. And the what chick doing? grabbed her Grabs hair her. and was That's like, a, "Get that over part's here!" Good though, yeah. I think that part's and, good. And yeah. we saw the full get bush. Over here. Yeah, there was full bush. Yeah, yeah. yeah, full frontal in this movie. But Available on Tubi. In, in in that kind of scene, though, I'm just speaking as a director. You know, people got to get over this nudity thing in films. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got two little kids, and they're saints. Lynn, but you know what? Do you think YouTube is going to ban Tubi? Do you ask if I give a fuck? <laughs> Wait, does, or are you asking me if YouTube I... YouTube own Tubi? No, Lynn, Lynn got uh, canceled I, I got YouTube. canceled. Oh, I, I so got, I'm asking well, if Tubi's no, going to get canceled No, even the YouTube effers that emailed me is like, Lynn, we've terminated you. Oh, no. I'm like, oh, have you? You might have terminated my channel, motherfucker, but you can come at me anytime you want. <laughs> and we're going to see how that plays out. Because I'm a confident man. I might not be the toughest on the planet, but I'm a confident man. And uh, you can terminate me, YouTube, behind your wall of nerdness or whatever you're doing. But you know what? You know, come at me with something. You just need to hire a clan of assassins to go after YouTube. Such a strange but, but, phrase well, well, use, terminate. It the, almost seems antagonistic. That's what they told like, me. Like, take me to court right, on right. type. Yeah, it's weird. you're yeah. terminated, Len. But weird. you know what? I would not hire the... Take, uh, uh, the, uh, the Nagato uh, clan because all of his ninjas suck. They're, they're, they're literally they were, the worst ninjas. They're, they're the worst, worst ninjas. Yeah. Which, they're terrible at their job. Yeah, something I brought up too. They had like, to kill a six foot white American. <laughs> I know he's French, but six foot white American. Computer salesman. Film, no and he's a computer salesman and you couldn't kill him. <laughs> they failed every time. <laughs> and this guy's like, if you got to do it, you got to do it yourself. And he shows up <laughs> and, and tries to. He was the only guy who could do <laughs> right? anything. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's see. After the train scene, okay. So they go to the uh, the the samurai island. The of island. Training. They have an island. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. they yeah. samurai yeah. island. Yeah. Where they yeah. Yeah. Well, training off. It's all teenagers the, um, for the generational war. Yeah. Right. You know. Uh, and they they tuck away. Oh, oh, we have to talk about his sword real quick. Okay. So yes. a police officer comes and says that to the badass, stoic man. badass Japanese samurai, uh, "Excuse me, sir. Your sword is evidence. We need to keep it." And his response. Nah. nobody takes my sword. And I think there is something in Samurai about you do not allow no, you, well, the sword to be... It's also in, I've been a motorcycle dude most of my <laughs> life, and you don't touch a man's bike. Right, well, yeah, and it's sure. very similar to, you can ask to touch his bike, and you know, I, say I'm no. a custom <laughs> chopper myself, <laughs> no. and if people want to say, well, then, it's you know, first, don't touch my bike, dude. But I mean... It's kind of like uh, you, you never touch another man's grill. Right. Yes. A, is in your mouth? No, no, no. no, 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 no like an actual grill. grill. Oh, like oh an actual grill. like cooking oh, yeah, grill. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, because grills, I, I don't know. Or never touch another man's culture, fries. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that either. Yeah. Never I'll, touch another man's I, penis. I, I will like, stab like, you if you <laughs> touch my fries. <laughs> where are you I trying to take this? Right, where? Into a dark place. We saw a commercial that indicated otherwise. Twice. Yeah, the Tubi commercial. So when we were watching this movie, Tubi has like commercial breaks. And there was this one uh, oh, very no. homosexual oh, commercial no. yes, that they it, showed yes. multiple times. Yeah. And they then at the end, yeah. it reveals that it's an eHarmony commercial. Right. But in fairness, like your rule with the bike, without permission. You do whatever you want with permission. <laughs> you don't do that right. without permission. Right. So right. It's, right. Somebody it's a nice blanket me, rule. Hey, Len, it really can, is. Can, can we like, touch your custom chopper? I'd be like, yeah, cool, man, whatever. you know. But And uh, custom chopper can mean whatever you want. Uh, I, I, I went to Wine and Spirits a couple of weeks ago, and I didn't even have my custom chopper. I, I, have, I have two motorcycles. I have a, I have a you, Raider. You mean your chopper? My chopper. 
Uh, no, I didn't take my chopper. I, I took my Raider, my Yamaha Raider, which is kind of like a production chopper. But anyways, I go into the liquor store. I buy my stuff. But while I'm gone, some little Japanese nail technician guy that was next door is going out like like looking and touching my my Raider. And I'm just, dude, and th this African-American woman is like, I told that dude not to touch your bike and stuff. And I'm like, what is what are you what are you doing, dude? And it's like, <laughs> one, you're like five, three. I'll kill you for <laughs> touching my, Touch bike. my bike. But 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 if you were just like cool with me and said, "Oh, this is a really cool bike. Can I, what what's this or what's that or what what's your engine?" It's like that scene stuff. from Sons of Anarchy where the guy's like sitting on the dude's bike Biker taking a culture. picture. Yeah, biker yeah, yeah. culture. Yeah, that's the way it is. And I'm not saying I'm some one percenter that, that that is some kind of criminal that'll stab you and stuff like that. But I mean. You these are will. basic. <laughs> these are basic rules, kind of I, thing. I mean, I'd take your face off and touch my grill to bring it back. Right. To bring it back, we're gonna reel it back to the movie real quick. So, but would you let people see your face come off, or would you turn around and do it so they couldn't <laughs> no, see? No, it? no, other people's face. Oh, right. Yeah. He's yeah. cutting the face of, off, off of got people it. that would touch the face his grill. Off? Oh. All right. And if you've I got know. corn, like corn on the cob on your grill, <laughs> I would cut their face off because I want that. Uh, Get corn that on corn out of my face. Yeah. Yeah. Corn <laughs> on the cob on the grill is like one of my favorite. That's life pleasure, man. It's amazing. You leave the husk on, right? I do. Of we course. went from sword to corn. Yeah, husk. I don't know this how that like, happens. Anyway, this is what so I usually do on my Let shows. Alex reel us back. <laughs> in. Yeah, yeah, let me reel back. In. Good luck. I'm like, oh, geez, how do I bring corn back to samurai swords? He's miming us. Lambert ate an apple. One thing that isn't corny is instead of giving the cop his. His sword. He stabs the train and mm. breaks his sword, yeah. and then puts the broken half in his sheath and hands it to the cop and says, "Now it's yours." Which was probably one of the most badass scenes it's I've seen badass. in a long time. That was pretty dope. Uh, so they proceed to take Christopher Lambert's injured ass to the uh, Samurai Island, where they hunker down, and he asks his drunk blacksmith, who is the comedic relief for this movie, to make him a new sword. And uh, we discussed how is it long an iron smith or a blacksmith. It's the correct steel, steel, steel smith. Yeah, is that, is that, that steel once smith. you go steel blacksmith, smith, yeah. you, never you never go back. Right. You never go back. You're so corny. But but it would be steel hey, smith. Corn on the cob. Yeah yeah yeah. No, I agree. Oh, uh, uh, you're fine. Black. You're well within the the confines now. Thank you. I mean, right. with corn on the cob. Me and Rob Schneider. Right. There's He's no saying, outside. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Rob Schneider eating a corn a corn on the cob with no husk. You can do it. Yeah. You can do it all night. I'm gonna say what what is. Sam Lynn, Lynn, Lynn's this close to getting up and watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into the Rob Snyder stuff. He ruined Judge Dredd for me when we, okay. we, we got the I am the law. law. Mr. I am the law. We, we, have an we got, answer. The, we we got answer. the part all of our fans wanted to see was I am the law. And, and then, oh, by the way, after Stallone says I am the law, we get Rob Snyder. Now yeah. I'm going to guess before law. you say the answer. Yeah. What, what is great. a Japanese blacksmith called? For, I. I, I I would guess it's either blacksmith or steelsmith. That's my guess. Is it's okay. one what or they're it? interchangeable. Well, I'm going to say it's ironsmith. Do you have a Japanese word for that? Oh no, I don't. Well, okay. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know every. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know no. every factor. No, no. Fuck no. Okay. What, what is it's it? It's a katana kaji, I think. K a j i. Katana is the sword. Yeah, katana yeah. kaji. Katana is a expert, Japanese sword. Hey, expert. <laughs> what does katana mean? Yeah. What does katana mean? Japanese sword. What does katana mean? It means Japanese sword. What's the description? It says an expert sword maker who specializes in forging Japanese swords. God, it doesn't say whether it's steel or iron. Iron, no, it has to be. Well, no, what, what, what's it's funny is that steel, though, this right. is basically a Hattori Hanzo sword that they make. Yeah, in this, this movie. is totally right. a Kill Bill yeah. thing. They're yeah. like, they're like, this can cut through anything. Yeah, yeah but you know, when, when you say Tori Hanzo, a lot of people on those late night stuff that's trying to sell you things. Like this is the finest. This can take Steve a face off. Yeah, face off. But but you no, know, those people on late night shows that are trying to sell you a bunch of shit, yeah. they'll they'll have the sword, the, the three, the tonto mm. uh, and, and the katana, and I forget what the very, very tiny sword is called. But uh, uh, anyways, uh, it would probably... Uh, well, Nicholas Cage should have been the there. drunk guy. And he was, oh, another white guy they brought here. I've been here forever. He basically, never up. he basically played that part in jujitsu. Have you seen jujitsu? Yes, I have. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. That yeah, was yeah. He played that role. That, that was, was tough. tough. He's the only yeah. thing in yeah. that movie that is worth yeah. watching. Yeah, um, that was yeah, he's really basically, bad. Yeah, he's basically playing Dennis right. Hopper in, a, in Apocalypse Now. That yeah, was yeah, that is is really, really is. bad. That's right. Yeah. But yeah, the late night shows, yeah, they're trying to sell you. Tenzi Hasso swords, yep. and it's just like I just, th these are the finest swords. I just want to I just want to talk on the about this uh, drunk blacksmith. Yeah, um, real quick, he was the comedic relief as you pointed out yeah. in this movie. He's probably the the funniest part. 
He's well, he Tom Sawyer's Christopher Lambert the entire time. So like Christopher Lambert's injured. He's got like a jugular cut in his right. neck. Hospital. His ha- arms all jacked up. And this guy's pawning off his work on him. Like, oh, here, take a bucket. Oh, here, take my other bucket too. And oh, do you need a stick? Here, has a stick. And he hands yeah. over all of his hard work. Yikes. Throughout the rest of the movie, he's basically doing this little stick. And uh, but he's apparently the best swordsman ever because he's best sword maker. Drunk, sword maker. Drunk off his ass. Thank you. Drunk. Yeah. Drunk off his ass and he gets to keep his job. Toilet sake. Thoroughly- I'm going to defend that because if I was drunk, I could still draw. Now, it may not okay. be something you fair. particularly like, okay. but it's, there's muscle memory. That, so, is, that is fair. You know? That is absolutely fair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we get a, a very short um, training montage. Yes. And we had an argument over how long it takes to make a sword versus how mm. long does Christopher Lambert have to train as a swordsman with this drunk blacksmith. Because he didn't actually train with the kids who were training. It was not no, formal training. Never. Yeah, it he was nev- not no, formal he, training. He only trained with the, the, with drunk, the drunk guy. Swordsman. Very yeah. informal. The, the swords maker. <laughs> Very informal. Very informal. But we have a we had a discussion about how long it takes. Well, I think we came up with what, what like three months or so. I to said make four a sword. weeks, but I think you said it was longer. Yeah, it's yeah. several months from beginning to end. Okay. It's because the polishing thing alone can take weeks. So you add all the other stuff, which takes multiple yeah. days. And- so you're still you're saying you have an extra Eight weeks? Yeah, let's say eight 12, weeks. 12 weeks? Yeah. 12 to months. train fucking kids <laughs> to take on ninjas. <laughs> yeah. you know, and the ninjas aren't very good either. They're horrible. As yeah. Matt said, these are horrible ninjas. Yeah, but, but they've been training since they were 17. Yeah. Maybe. We don't know. Do they they literally yeah. said in, in the show, I, I've been loyal to you since I was 17. Oh, oh, that yeah. was the ninja. Yeah. The ninja. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, not, yeah. that's not very long then because that guy looked like he was, was 18. 18. <laughs> <laughs> he was well, 18. So True or not, though, they, he, I'm sure they were training much more vigorously than the kids were because that Kinjo dude ain't fucking around. So when no, the training hits, you're getting hit with the training. I think the, uh, the thing about that is Kinjo will torture you Mm-hmm. And bury you up to the, uh, you know, we're talking creep show style yes. here. He will bury you. To you rot know. in the sun. Yeah, yeah. But do you think Takeda's doing that, though? If a kid fails in the Takeda family system of training, do you think he's burying no. them neck deep? No, no. I don't no. think so. Well, no. well the that's what interesting thing here is that basically Lambert learns just enough to be formidable, but he's not like. A super master right. like samurai. We, we would call that competent. And, yeah. and he needs, in martial arts, we'd call that competent. He yeah. needs some advantages. There is definitely an offset to oh, his yeah. skill base. Well, we're we're going to talk about how the script helps Christopher Lambert's a character lot. a lot. Necessarily. Yeah. But, but, is good. but there's something I want to talk about, which kind of dovetails into this, which was Lynn's take ah. on like who the real villain of yeah. this movie is. Okay. Oh, this Perfect is a timing. long conversation. Perfect timing. Please yes. set it up for us, Lynn. I had said, you know, in this movie, which I love this movie. It's so dear to my heart. It really is. But as uh, I don't want to say it's Confucius. It's something else. But uh, it's really hot in here because we don't have a An Asian on, but, individual um, or philosophical you know, A philosophical person had said once that man who seek revenge dig two graves. And mm-hmm. I'm not sure it's revenge. Oh, but it's you Sun get, Tzu, right? You, you, is it Sun Tzu? Sure. The sure Art of War? Uh, yeah. Anyways, you get what I'm saying is. You know, we have the ninja clan. They've been fighting with the samurai clan. But I don't think we have good guys and bad guys here. I think they're both bad guys. (laughs) You know what I mean? I think Kinjo is obviously a bad guy. Kinjo is a bad guy. And I think Takeda. Is this Kinjo? Is this Kinjo? Is this Kinjo? And I I think Takeda is a villain. That's a show title. And we (laughs) talked about the epic bullet train sequence. Mm-hmm. I think that's that's the heel turn. That's a wrestling turn, professional wrestling term. But that's the heel turn of Takeda. That's where he becomes a villain in my mind. He killed innocent people to test himself to be ready for Kenja. Mm-hmm. That's the heel turn. And then, you, you know, Joe will debate this because I know he doesn't feel this way, but I feel Takeda's a villain. You, and we all debated this because of emotion he feels when his wife is dead and stuff like that. Really? But did his wife take care of him? And he feels that emotion because somebody was like a caretaker for him. Mm. You know, I feel sad now because somebody that supported the only fucking person that supported me is going to die. How about that? Was a regret. How, how about was that, it? though? Yeah. He didn't regret the people that died on the bullet no, train. No, those are innocent them. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His wife is in the Takeda clan. You know what I mean? If she dies, it's it's written. You know what I mean? It, yeah. It's us versus them kind of thing. But the people on the train were innocent that he didn't care about. 
He's a villain. Takeda's a villain in this movie. And both of them die, which I think is essential in terms of a message. And maybe the filmmakers weren't thinking that deeply about it. Both of them meaning Kinjo and Takeda, yes. not, not the yeah. wife. Yeah. No, not no, the no, wife. no, 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 no. Just the, to make sure we have No, the wife kind of plays the saint role in all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm taking care of crazy villain guy, <laughs> but I also care about microchip man that, that <laughs> but you know what I don't think there's ever like a sexual connotation between them or something no, you guys no, I, never know that I don't no, feel no, no. that no. I feel like she cared about this guy because he was innocent yeah. Yes. In, yeah in the whole thing he wasn't in this family war you know what I mean so okay AC turn uh, uh, oh thank god but, <laughs> but, but uh, you know I do think they're both villains and I think when they both die in this movie mm -hmm. it's the correct ending that's interesting that's interesting because this is a this is a family feud that, as far as we know, goes on for generations. So he's had this out for him. Now you say he's a villain because he uses Christopher Lambert's character as bait, he's bait, as bait to bring these people onto the bullet train. He sacrifices innocent people, correct, in order to test his metal and try and kill the guy he's been trying to can, kill. Can I ask a question? Yeah, I, go ahead. I, I I missed this. I should have been paying attention, but I was just too involved in the movie. Is Takeda aware? of how Christopher Lambert got out of the pachinko parlor. Is he explicitly aware that he used the crowd? No, no I don't know. No, I don't think he's aware of how he escaped. And this is no. why I'm going to disagree with you. Oh, okay. No. Okay. This is All right. okay. This is an important story. I, I will say, I don't think he's aware of that. I don't think no. so either, but I want to make sure Christopher Lambert used his own ingenuity right. to escape. And nobody said to him, so how'd he, you get away? Or so he didn't them. expect the ninjas to take out all the innocent people, which means that wasn't part of his plan. Ooh, go ahead, Joe. Take it away. All right. And this, I'm this listening. Is, this is a crucial thing. I'm invested in this. I'm, I'm interested. I think what Takeda is is obsessed, and he has gotten so far into his quest for revenge, which is generational. I mean, we can see this. I'm not going to get into too far, but in the real world parallels to generational conflicts that people start losing all clarity and perspective on. I think he went around the bend. His wife didn't realize how far, and so was supporting him. I agree with you. She's completely virtuous. Yes. The I wife agree. is the all star. I kill Christopher Lambert and leave her alive if it comes down <laughs> to it. Honestly, that's the way to go. But. Because he didn't know. Don't kill the drunk guy making the sake in his toilet. No, the drunk guy's <laughs> fine. He's fine. We don't have to kill him. He's all right. And he makes the movie. He's fine. He never even gets scratched. But he doesn't know that those people are going to get massacred. If he knew, then it is intentional. And he does get the people out. Once he realizes what's happening, he does he's like, get people. out. He's getting them out. Yeah. I, and no, so I, I, I'm not saying he's a hero. I disagree with this. But I'm saying that what that it is. And the Revenge Two Graves thing, I'm going to give you an example. You ain't going to like it, but I think you're going to agree. If somebody killed one of your kids, do you care about the two graves, or are you after who did it? I don't care if I die at that there point. It you're right. So you're, that part of my... You're like, absolutely right. I revenge knows. eats you up. Yes. It eats you up. <laughs> or justice might eat you up. And yeah. to him, this is justice. This is generational. They've been massacring my people for hundreds of years. Now, do you believe he... Takeda thinks it's justice... I think or he doesn't know the difference what, anymore. I think okay. at this point, he's around I the I agree bend. with you. So I'm not saying agree that with you he's there. virtuous. He doesn't in know the difference anymore. Objectively. Because it's been going yeah. on so long. It's Burma. And that's the it's thing It's been where, Burma the last 200 years. And the wife has backed him the whole way. So when she is and injured. She's a yeah, well, when, and when she's injured, that is the, the snap. That's the moment where he sees the damage of what he. And he knows then. But at that point, I he has to die. Well, Sorry, yeah, no, no, and that's that fine, point. but I'm saying he doesn't die as a villain. Kinjo yeah. is a villain. Takeda's yeah, not burying up. the kids to, up to their necks because, mm -hmm. you know, he trained them like shit, which is what Kinjo did. You <laughs> suck as a teacher, and now you're going to fucking bury these guys in the sand? I'm no sorry. Thing you're yeah, a villain. You both are wrong. Okay. Oh, oh wrong. here we go. The real villain of this movie is Christopher Lambert. <laughs> because All it, he did was get laid. If, at the beginning if he of the had movie. just died like he was supposed to oh, in the first 10 minutes, oh, none no, of this would have happened. You're being funny. So no. many people would have been alive. You're no. being funny. I know no, no, no. you don't believe this, but you're just um, being funny here. The, Alec it, Baldwin would have done him. I mean, it is better. accurate oh that he God. did keep this all going. If he had just died, it would have probably, exactly. you know, See? knocked on the it, it, No, it would have continued. It just would have been somebody else. It would have been would, some other nameless American guy. Alex been, is exactly been. right. It would have been somebody would it else. It would have been, yeah. been Rob Schneider. Yeah, it would have been Rob <laughs> Schneider <laughs> from Fine. Knock Off. All right, yeah, right, somebody right. make the movie. It would have been Rob Schneider. Knock Off Rob Schneider. It would, it the would have been fucking the Japanese little freaking. Nicky. It would have been little Nicky Adam Sandler. Yeah. Uh, dude. <laughs> 
I hate thinking about that. Oh, I man. hate thinking it about hurts. a universe it where that does. It, it does. does. I feel it, it in my nuts. Yeah. I feel it in my nuts <laughs> totally as I agree. talk about it. So he but, they thought, kicked man. you in the nuts. You actually kicked him in the nuts. <laughs> in the nuts. Yeah, no, no. I Metaphorically feel, I feel yeah. something in my nuts. Spiritually. Yeah. He kicked him spiritually yeah. in the nuts. Yes. yes. Um, I think. These okay, so, are, so really, they love Rob Snyder. And it's just like, <laughs> why? Why? I it, think it's because we just watched him uh, in that okay. terrible John Claude Van Damme. Name movie. a Rob Snyder film you like. I can't. That's right, you can. <laughs> Guess what, Joe? No one can. Yeah, Judge Dredd. <sighs> it takes he all ruins kinds. Judge Dredd. <laughs> I mean, disagree. It, it takes all um, kinds to make a world. That's right. So that's right. There's lots um, of shit I think is disgustingly right. bad. Who's that? Like, it's good. Uh, Demolition Man. Oh, he is in that. Uh, he's not a main character. No, no, he's, he's a, a side he's character. A very, very side character. Yeah. He doesn't know how movie. to use the three seashells. Side, you're right. Side <laughs> book. Pretty, pretty nice. That's a, that's a that fantastic yeah. film. Yeah. Not yeah. to get nice sidetracked. That's a great okay. film. Okay, so bringing it back to the uh, Japanese island, yeah. and I know it all came true. I've been told that <laughs> <laughs> the demerits. We're gonna have a demerit system from YouTube every time we swear. We have to pull a demerit off the wall. Um, okay, so we're back on the island, uh, the Samurai, island. The Samurai yep. island. The ninjas show up by invitation. And we, well, we find out Takeda has, by Takeda. Yeah. has used Lambera's bait, is holding him prisoner. Yep. Because that's very explicitly they, said. They, they co go toe to toe uh, a little bit for I this. I will say okay. this, though. Uh, you just said this, Joe. He's holding him prisoner. Mm -hmm. I mean, villains do that. They, they <laughs> got the rope. They went so far as to get. They the tied him up. Yeah, they tied <laughs> him up and left for, him for like there. months. Not only, not only are you not going to escape if we fail, you're, you're roped and yeah. you're going to die. He couldn't go to the, the bathroom. Villains or do that. I'm going to point out though, That's the a wife thing. doesn't not... secretly let him go or stop uh. him. The wife goes along, and if we're saying the wife is virtuous. Too. Not necessarily. Oh, no, 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 not necessarily. No. I'm saying <laughs> she's the enabler. <laughs> she's the enabler. Maybe she's a villain. I'm, I'm like this woman's a saint, but maybe, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. I'm saying that people, when F, they get to a certain point, they, they lose the <laughs> perspective. But I'm not going to equate. I'm sorry. I'm not well, going to equate to Kate and Ninja. Okay. I'm not going to equate these also, characters. They're not the same. We need no. to, we need right. to consider the husband and wife relationship in Japanese culture as well. I'll consider she, it here if my wife well, is backing me. In, and, in yeah, Japan, I, you know. men come first, women come right. second. That's and a, sometimes yeah. not at all. That's right. a line from <laughs> James Bond. I was Bond. just going to say sometimes that, that, not at all. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a line from um, from Austin Powers. Yes, oh, is Austin it? Powers, oh, okay. Yeah. James Bond yeah. had a line just like that. No, it's Austin Powers. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes not at all. Anyway, so I laugh, but that's not funny. That's the showdown. Funny. I love strong women. So, well, I know. Well, you women, said they're and listening the, to this podcast. I love you. And the so movie never points that, that out. If it did, that's more of a consideration. The movie, right. if you don't know that, yeah, do, you, right. do yeah. you guys think if this movie was made today that they would have changed the the wife's storyline to like more something like what you wanted to do, or like if it was my story, I would have made her kill the bad guy at the end? Honestly, no, no, no. no. Because when I really when well. I see strong women in movies, like predominantly, I see it in B movies. Yeah. Mm. I see Cynthia Rothrock or Karen Shepard or something like Peppermint with with, with Jennifer yeah. Garner. Oh, That's yeah. essentially a B movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. essentially a B movie. I like that movie. It yeah. is a good movie. And you know, the, the MMA setup's a little wonky, but I mean other I mean overall I think Enough it, it's, it's with a good uh, movie. Jennifer Lopez. But sure, you know, <laughs> but you know that's what I see. And you no, know, I, I I think if it's made today it stays the same. Okay. Well, because it's not you're still Trying to reflect a culture that's not American. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, fair so you have you have to maintain what that culture thinks. Even in America, if we're like, oh, well, we're canceling that. It's not what we're doing or mm -hmm. whatever. No, you can't. It's a. It's still a it's different culture. culture. And yeah. you know what? They haven't changed. But we have, but you, they haven't changed. You know, I, I want to talk about one of the most iconic because in every martial arts movie, especially ones that deal with samurai. You always have this duel at the end between like the bad guy and the good mm -hmm. guy. Oh yeah, and the duel at the end of this movie, a plus in where, the rain, where, where with the ba lightning. Yeah, they, they set it up so like they set up. It starts raining. Takeda and Kinjo. Yes. Yes. Let's be yes. specific. Yes. Yes. That, that's yeah. not the final duel, but that is the yes. duel. That's, that's, that's the, the duel. duel. That's that's pretty much the, the climax of the movie. That's in the my show opinion. That is the show piece. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that fight, it was built up perfectly, and then it was executed perfectly, and it was it was it was a satisfying ending. It felt very old school samurai movie yeah. to Well, me. you were losing your shit. Dude, it was, was so freaking good. You know Way what? better than I expected. But when we talk about that, I would tell you guys this. 
what would you rate on an F fail, A plus awesome scale? The cinematography in that scene. Oh. It's A plus. Yeah. That's what makes that scene. Dude, there's a scene where um where he pulls the sword out of yeah. him and it's shot just at this yeah. weird angle where you can't quite see and he yeah. pulls it out and there's blood on it. It's just it's like a slow pull too, where you can see the whole length right. of the sword come from, out. And it's a back shot. It's a back it's shot. It's a back too. shot. Yeah. So we don't get the fake side shot where we know it's not really yeah. in the actor and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. No, they do a back shot of it. Yeah. That's and cinematography. Then, and then there's a perfect lightning strike, like right mm -hmm. when the moment happens, the well, lightning strikes. I, strike I actually thunder. think the coolest part of that um, that whole duel is there's a point where the two um, combatants are back to back, and they've got yeah, like their yeah, arms yeah. blocking they're, they're, the other they're, one, they're, 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 and yeah. and you could see on who, who, awesome. who's who's the actor from Rush Hour again, John Lowe. John, John, Lowe. John Lowe. You can see his, his eyes are going like back and forth and he's trying to think of like, okay, where do I go? Like, yeah, what's yeah. happening here? How do I turn this to my advantage? Am I fucked? Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it only lasts about like, I want to say like 10, 15 seconds, yeah, probably. but it is, it is brilliant because both of these guys are, are sitting there. They're kind of back to back fighting each other. And at the same time, they're like, okay, what's my next move? Yeah. Yeah. It was really, really yeah, yeah. well done. Yeah. That whole, that whole fight scene was phenomenal. Like I, I was, blown away watching it. The cinematography was perfect. The, the setting was perfect. The, the acting. Setup, the setup for the, it, the acting. The faces of yeah. everybody. You don't say a word. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But there's the no dialogue. Faces of that's it. There's the other no thing. talking. Yeah. That's the other thing. We we um, yeah. immediately no picked up on it. No, yeah. nothing. Um, immediately, we all picked up on it. Like, they start the fight. It's just them looking at each other. The whole rest of the movie is the setup for this yeah. fight. You don't need to say anything. Just go for it. I loved it. And like you said, Joe, Christopher Lambe is going to come in and get the one-liner, <laughs> you know? That's I'm gonna like. sucker you, and you know, yeah. Then that's a New York punch, or you're terminated, or there can whatever. Be only there can be only one, one. <laughs> or whatever it is. You know, you know, they're giving him that line, yeah. and I wish they wouldn't have. I wish they wouldn't have. We don't need to go there yeah. in this movie. Don't give them that. Yeah. Let Chris. Let Chris. I almost said Christopher Walken, but <laughs> let let Christopher Lambay's character turn the page. Yeah. At that point. Don't you think that's Dude, appropriate? Christopher Walken would have his... been great in this movie. I was thinking Jesus. that. I was thinking that. Yeah, he hey, Patrick Swayze stays my choice. <laughs> but if you're voting people, when you vote on, on, on the Salty Nerd uh, Patreon there, when you vote, let it be. Patrick Swayze is my choice. I've got a katana. And the only prescription is more is katana. More katana. <laughs> Patrick Swayze's oh, favorite movie, in my opinion, will always be Steel Dawn, people. I love it so much. When you say, when people ask me, Red, Len, Red if, if you could, no, no Steel, Steel Dawn. Dawn. Steel Dawn. I've never heard of that. Oh my God. Should we have watched that? Oh, well, shit. Well, that's going to be checked out for about five minutes. <laughs> <months. laughs> I'm, 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 I'm still here for a couple days, people. <laughs> I can't. It, are you serious? You never guys heard of it. You guys have not seen Steel Dawn. No. He's never heard of it. Oh, shit, dude. I, hey, man, we can only either. do so much in one weekend. What do you want from me? Dude. We gave him this. You can watch a lot of movies in a weekend. Well, that's you guys are just gonna have to come back. Oh, some point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, Before we, th we, this hurts my heart, though, dude. <laughs> right. To me, this is this is almost worse than in my mind. It's worse because it's a martial art film uh, than than not seeing Conan or something like that. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Wow, it's a martial art movie. Like the philosophy of the movie is like Circle of Iron with David Carradine, uh, and, and, and Eli Wallach, and all those guys. Uh, uh, Steel Dawn is maybe. Oof. Well, let's spend the next 20 Talk. minutes on whether it's worse than not seeing Conan, because we should really Ooh. get into this. Well, no, 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 I, 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 no you're kidding. serious, though. You guys have not seen Steel Dawn with Patrick serious. Swayze. Correct. With yeah. Patrick Swayze. Never Correct. heard of it. Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, right. we've we seen Red Dawn. Yeah, Red Dawn. We'll come back to no, it. No, we'll no, come no. Back to it. But uh, I would, no, we would that. all agree, though, that the bullet train and that next to last You've fight. You've seen Steel Dawn. I've seen it. Of course I've seen it. My only gripe with this movie is that the final fight scene with Christopher Lambert versus the evil ninja was a little underwhelming. Oh, yeah. No, I agree. A little underwhelming. Okay. I, I, I didn't... necessarily I, sure. so. I, I'm not disagreeing with it as script far as like writing, a writing. Script writing. Yeah, script. Yeah. That's all fine, but it was the delivery of it. Yeah. I feel like it was a little weak. Like, we we talked about his swing that ends it's the bad. fight was, okay. was pretty weak. Right. swing's bad. Uh, uh, the the fact this. that they went, like, fist I'll to fist this. was a little, like... I don't, I'm okay with we, the fist because it was, it was filmed well. The, the swing is just so weak. I think that stuff is filmed well. And the thing I like about going there is we already had the showpiece fight. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, in writing terms, we still have the Lambay character. Yeah. Right. 
You can't get rid of them. Yeah. yeah. You have to do something with you them. You can't kill them either, and I, in my opinion. I, I and he will can't give just them, crawl out after the right, fight's over. You have to give them something proactive yeah. to do. I will yes. give them credit. I will give them absolute 100% credit for injuring... Um, what's the evil guy's name again? The, Kinjo. 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 Evil, uh, injuring Kinjo Is this twice. Kinjo? Is this Kinjo? That was Is this Kinjo? Kinjo? That was Kinjo. Is this Kinjo? Um, they stabbed him in the... He got stabbed in the leg with for the initial fight. Yeah. And then the secondary fight with Lambert, Lambert gets to drop on him and stabs him in the shoulder, which disarms him, which is a callback to when they said yeah. there is no left, left hand, hand fighting right. in Japan, Good only right writing. hand. Good script so writing. they injure his right hand, which means he can only fight left handed, which is that's phenomenal. Which they don't writing. train in, right? Phenomenal yeah. writing. Right. So yeah. it completely handicaps this character yes. to the point where it makes it acceptable to believe that Christopher could actually fit. That's very him. important. Ken Joe also that's has a great important. line where he points out, he, he, he's like, I have no honor. I fight to win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is great. Yeah. Right. That is a difference. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so and, and we should probably point out the fact that, like, because no one knows what Kenjo's face looks like, the samurai goes around the entire movie saying, "Is this Kenjo?" <laughs> 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 so, so, right. so when we, when we say like, "Is this Kenjo?" Yeah. Like, it's just a call. Yeah, yeah, he's just he's grabbing every Japanese we're, person. We're, is this Kenjo? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we should, little kid. We, is this Kenjo? <laughs> we, we should preface that. Is this Kenjo? Yeah, we should preface that for your audience because they're gonna hear it. A million times, times, a million times throughout, you know, the show. Yes. That is this Kinjo? If, is this Kinjo? If and I was gonna, if I was gonna improve that fight a little bit, I think it would have been better in my mind is if the wife and Christopher teamed up okay. in a more yeah. and more satisfying way to yeah. defeat the bad guy. But she's injured at this point. She's injured because in the they yeah. take her out early. No, yeah, you yeah. know what should have happened. The drunk swords maker should have saved the day. Uh, I'm going to say a hard no on that. Yeah, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. He, I'm really like, interested Kinjo, in Kinjo everybody's should be here. almost about to kill um, Lambert. And then the drunk guy just and comes then in. The, the drunk <laughs> guy comes and in. And distracts yeah. him. Distracts him oh, just long oh. enough for right, Christopher right, to get the right. drop. Yeah, maybe. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, not, it's, not the yeah. worst. it's not the worst thing I would do. Could have been done. It could could be done. That That's what I want to know from everybody. And Matt should start. It's... How do you end it then? I mean, in terms of like climatic fight scene, what do you do? Do you reverse the fights? Because I don't think you can. No. But but if you think they can, I want to know. Okay. How do you do that ending? Matt, what's up? So I think that it should have ended once Kenjo won. Like I would have liked to have seen Kenjo just like win, basically. Ooh. Because, oh, because shit. to me, uh, Lambert is so incidental to this movie. I mean, it's basically like if you've ever seen Harrison Ford's movie, The Witness, it's the exact right. same movie. It's probably his best performance. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, with this movie, I feel like the climax was that samurai fight. That's no, totally you know. the, the pinnacle fight, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And, and so like anything after that's just dragging it on. And so um, when we did our last um, ninja mo uh, movie the, review. On the beach, the fight scene on the beach. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Like, like I think it was Duel to the Death was, yes. the, was the movie that, yes. that, that we reviewed. And that ended in a climactic, you know, ninja versus samurai battle as well. And once that battle was done, the movie was over. This one, once the battle's done, it goes on, and and you well, almost don't care. It, but if they point. didn't wrap I, up I, Christopher's I would, story, then okay. we would be criticizing it for not wrapping up his story. Well, no. I, I, I would have liked to have seen them kill Christopher Lambert Jesus and then Christ. have that that climactic fight. But then everybody needs to die then. And Christopher yeah. Lambert really didn't need to die. He didn't I, do anything. I, I wanted, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Everything he was doing was honest. He wasn't doing anything. I, I mean, he did not. He did not make that woman climax, which is a crime. Okay, <laughs> we she don't did cry know. at the we end. Don't she, know she, she cried. She cried we because the sex was that. so bad. She wept okay. at the end of that sex scene. That is <laughs> the movie's ambiguous. That is <laughs> pure. <laughs> that is pure speculation. We don't know that. That's we don't held know his breath that. For three minutes. She put his her feet up on his head and everything, and he still right. didn't do it. We don't know that. <laughs> we don't know that. And, <laughs> I, off, off of that, I, I think that that's a little folly there. I, I don't, In fairness I don't to the Lambone, we don't know. We yeah. don't know. Lambone. <laughs> Lambone. We, 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 we don't know that. So, Alex, your, um, your take on Okay, it. my take on this is that the wife should have had some kind of a line where she had recovered. Not recovered, but she had fought through the pain of her Like a one-liner? Not a one-liner, but like a final line okay. where she says, I right. watched this, this feud between our families, destroy everything that I love, and mm -hmm. I'm going to end it here and now. And she goes up against uh, Kinju. Well, she would have got killed. But she has the help of Christopher Lambert. The two okay. of them team up against an injured Kinjo and says, and she's the one who delivers the final blow. I want the wife to deliver the final blow because I feel like okay. it would be a little bit of a poetic justice for okay. him killing her husband yes. and her watching her husband dive into this revenge feud 
and like lose himself. Like I wanted to see her um, kind of settle it for herself. We and get Christopher that. Lambert we get can that, be there but, to help. But what what do you do with Lambay then? He's he's there as like almost like a backup. Does so he, he die? He, yes or no? Die? No, no. He can live. That's right. He, he can, can live. live. I, they, agree they, with I that. think the ending of them walking away with the drunk black okay. that can all that's all fine. That's all good. But I feel like right. that fight scene needed to be more centered on okay. her versus the nin, uh, Kinjo. And Christopher Lambert is like a wild card who pops in to help out. Joe. I don't disagree with what you're saying. I actually can see a version of that. The only this alteration, is a good conversation. Go ahead, the, the only alteration I would make in your version mm-hmm. is that she stabs him, collapses, and Lambert drives it into his heart. Like that's the final, like she he assists that way. Okay. Can Joe collapse? Probably yeah. from behind. You're, so you're thinking like a producer. <laughs> Lambay's got to have that moment well, at the end. I, we paid for this. The I, audience wants to see Lambay win. You are thinking like a producer, well, my I, man. I am thinking about the fact that other, because here's the problem. Lambert could have left with the drunk guy. Doesn't. We get that scene. So we know he's coming back for the end. We know right. that. It's yeah. established. If he doesn't show up during that to help We're at all. disappointed. You yeah. sit there and go, what was the point? Why would you stay here if you're going to be stuck on a beach, you know, smoking a joint for the next 20 minutes? <laughs> Get on the fucking thing and help the guy, right? So that version works fine for me. No issue with it. I also don't have any version with what they did. I would have shortened that fight way down. Hmm. I don't need 15 haymakers. Uh, I would have made a much better swing. I would have made it quick because the way the movie presents Kinjo, even injured, He's still so far He's ahead of Lambert right, yeah. that you have to do this fast. I mean, this is a 60 to 120 seconds or you're dead. Yeah. Because Lambert's still recovering. He's still partially He is with a ninja star at the end. Yeah, well, that's Those what I'm saying. So, well, he might poisonous. die later because that's right. supposed to be poison. Yeah. So, he dies on their 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 little boat. Yeah. So I don't have a problem end. with the way they did it. I think it was too long. Okay. I also don't have a problem okay. with, the, with the wife uh, killing him. There is, though, lens to Len's argument about the villainy. If Len is correct, and if I'm life, not saying I'm correct, well, if well, I'm giving you, I'm giving that there's a nice branching option so, here. You sliding doors, man. So if if Len's version is the one you interpret it as that he is villain, that Takeda's villainous, and the wife is complicit, I believe then that. she does not deserve the final blow. Hmm. The actually innocent person, hmm. as buffoon as he is through the whole movie, is Lambert. Therefore, he has earned the final stroke. At the very least, as an assist. Sorry, am I taking? Len, Len is like oh, he's like centering his chi, <laughs> ready to go. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm taking your answer away. I, that, that's... I, I, I mean, like, let's not forget, Lambert did kidnap an underage Chinese girl. <clears throat> no, oh. he, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. She was already. She was fine. She was already in the car. He said, yeah. "You, you've done enough." And yeah, he, yeah, he, he was, was right. right. No, no, he didn't do anything. You keep Takeda, trying to throw wild cards. Takeda yeah. did that. Yes. So, sorry. What would I do at the end of the movie? Yep. I will say what they did right. The script writing's on point, mm-hmm. meaning they injured um, Kinjo mm-hmm. enough that you could believe that uh, not a hundred percent Christopher Lambay, but obviously you know more percentage towards him <laughs> physically than Kinjo at that point. I like the fact they turned it into like a hockey punching brawl <laughs> because at that point. I would favor the larger man at that point. A 150-pound Kinjo is not going to defeat a 210-pound... Six-foot Lambert. Uh, 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 yeah. Six-foot Lambert. Computer chip salesman. A computer chip salesman. <laughs> but when, you're like, when, you're li- when, when your life is on the line, people can lift up cars off of children <laughs> and stuff like that. When your life is on the line, you can do amazing things. And I would believe Christopher Lambert can hockey punch the shit out of Kinjo <laughs> when his life is on the line. But... Could he, could he happy Madison? I'm just, I'm, all I'm hearing is freaking <laughs> happy Gilmore right now. Just a lot of, oh my God, the, 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 the Sandler shit. <laughs> it's Jesus. That's it. uh, He's just it, trying to get a rise out of you. And it's working. It's like, working. You're, no, doing, you're doing like, a great job. It's, it's, you're doing a great job, man. I mean, you, you, what you working. are doing is working. I found Lynn's kryptonite. It's Adam Sandler references. You, can't, you cannot right. criticize a working plan. That's right. what I'm right. So, how I would have ended it is this. We know Kinjo has to die. Mm-hmm. We know that. We know Takeda. I think we all agree, whether we agree if he's a villain or not, we agree he has to die yep. Sure. in the story. Yep. I, you know, what I would say is this, and people that know me and know my films and stuff would be like, this is exactly what Len would say. I love strong women characters. What I would do, I want the hockey punch brawl between Kinjo and and Lambay, because that's what it dissolved into because Kinjo's injured. Give me the hockey punching brawl. 
I want Kinjo to get the upper hand and almost kill Lambay. And then the wife, who is an archer by specialty, hmm. shoots Kinjo with the arrow because that is what she's been trained for in the Takeda clan. Okay. Her specialty is be a marksman archer. And, and, it and she hits him in kills the chest. Them. And wherever Q shot through the heart and you're, you're to blame, yeah, you're you give love a bad name, a bad name. And Joan Chen singing. Yes, yeah. exactly. Sure. That, that's how, that's how <laughs> Lynn would end the movie. I, 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 <laughs> maybe not exactly that way. Cause I'm more of a metal head. Shot than, to than the bon Jovi, heart, but, and but, you're but, to but, blame. Shot to the heart and you're to blame. No, it has to be you her can... ghost singing at a karaoke bar. <laughs> right, that's 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 I can see. Now that, we're getting it. it. Yeah. Now Bill and Murray the joins Japanese us. Culture. Bill, yeah. Bill Murray joins us and everything else comes in. Perfect. But yeah, I would have her, the hockey punch fight happens and everything. The fight plays out like it does, except Kinjo gets the upper hand. Shoomp. Okay. So he gets the That's she, fair. She I, kills him. I, can, I can be on board with that. I, I feel like because it is the Takeda clan versus the Nakato clan, somebody in the clan should end it. Okay. E either way. I agree. I agree. And I think the wife is the last surviving member because he essentially killed all of his kids yeah. <laughs> that were training for him. Yeah. Uh, I think the wife should end it, and then it's over. There's nobody left. There's just this saint of a woman, this guy making toilet sake, <laughs> and a completely innocent American, American. businessman. Okay. And Rob Schneider's in the background. Going, oh, stop. You can oh, do oh, it. My God. Oh, my God. I'd love to hockey punch him. <laughs> <laughs> like you can do, do it. Uh, well, that's F. the whole movie. That's it. That's it. That's that was it. a fantastic discussion, guys. Uh, I'm not just saying I'm that. happy with it. That, yeah. that was a lot yeah. of fun. It yeah. was a fantastic movie, and the discussion we just had for the past hour and a half. I'm was glad amazing. you. I'm glad you liked it. That was awesome, uh, Lynn. Thank you so much for uh, introducing me to this movie. Thank you. You sir. are very welcome. Thank you, uh, Joe. Thank you for being here. Sure, it was I a can't, pleasure. I can't do what I do without the man, <laughs> Joe from Ozone Late Night. <laughs> I hope that you guys can make it back to Vegas uh, soon and we can do this again because maybe we could do it with, uh, what was that, I Steel that, Dawn? I think, oh my God. Can dude. we do this again with Steel He'll Dawn? come back for Steel I Dawn. I can't believe you haven't seen this. We're going to do oh. it. All right. That's on the docket. We're going to put it on the list. He's going to write this in a book on the, uh, you know, going <laughs> back. <laughs> there, there, like the, there, the there, are, there are two martial art movies. Joe, I'd like to hear your two and then we, we can Ooh, not just go off on a, a, okay. on a super ta tangent here. I think there's two martial art movies that are essential okay. for every martial art movie to American. Write this down, kids. A mar American martial art people that, that, you know, fans that they have to see. One is Circle of Iron. Okay. With Jeff Cooper, David Carradine, Eli Wallach. I think Christopher Lee. Christopher Lee is in it as well. See Circle of Iron. It's the message. Count Dooku is in it? What's that? Count Dooku is in it? Dracula. Yes. Yes, he is. And yes, Sauron. He is. Yes, he is. Circle of Iron from 1977. Um, I think that is quite possibly my favorite martial art movie of all time. Hmm. Uh, after that, martial arts, Steel Dawn. Okay. It's the message and aura and personality and attitude of the movie is martial arts. And I, I those Circle of Iron, Steel Dawn, that's it. Done. Joe. <sighs> that's really hard to try to pick two like that. It's, it's, I mean, I really... Am I not right on Steel no, Dawn? No, no, I'm not disagreeing. It's but, a yes but, or no answer. No, you're you're right. Steel Dawn is is a masterwork. It is. It, it's amazing, guys. It, but if we're talking about okay, martial arts films, two essential ones. Man, this is a really tough. Spot Lance Hool directs uh, Steel Dawn, who uh, produced uh, like Missing in Action two <sighs> and, and stuff for Canon. So uh, uh, you I should mean, know where we're going with I, that. I have to go with Yes, Madam for one. Oh shit! Yeah. I have to because yeah, that yeah. is probably my favorite martial arts film. I'm not saying mm. it's the best one, but it's Roth Rock and Michelle yeah, yeah, Yao. Yeah, yeah. And that end fight, I scream at it every time. You, you've I, been, I mean, you've been clamoring for that 4K. I, uh, I can't wait for the 4K. Come on. Um, but the second one, you know, I'll go with Steel Dawn because I think there's so many good options. But that's oh, definitely, it's, it's awesome. You know why? You know why I agree it's with you awesome. on that because it's one that people haven't seen and should see. A lot of the classic Shaw Brothers, Bruce Lee, people have seen. We know it. We know them. We're familiar. We with know them. it. So. Yes, Madam, for one, because it's got that new release. I don't disagree with that. And then Steel Dawn, I have no issue with. So I'm surprised you guys haven't mentioned the hairdresser where Adam Sandler oh, plays a former okay, Israeli Jesus. massage. You're, you're, you're drunk on power now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, no. He's trying to 
push my yes, buttons. He is. It's and the now, best now, alcohol now, you've now, ever had. He's seizing that moment where he's thought, I've got to let <laughs> got this him. tough it's guy. It's the Adam Sandler reference. I, I mean, I, legit, I, Sandler. I legit want to go and watch Little Nicky after <laughs> I, I don't, I don't <laughs> no, know. Yeah, we got to get out of here. Like, where is Jewel if, 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 if you don't like martial art movies, <laughs> go watch The Water Boy. Is that or Zohan whatever, or whatever? Yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever. yeah you don't mess with the Zohan. Fucking Christ. Whatever you don't mess do, with the Zohan. Go watch Zohan or Water Boy or Little <laughs> Nicky or whatever you're going to do. But you know what? You can never, ever. Oh, big word. Here we go. Hang out with me <laughs> if you're going to watch <laughs> Little Nicky over Steel Dog. We got to get out of here before Len drop kicks Caden. <laughs> Do you think somebody who likes that Little Nicky is going to want to hang out with you, though? Let's be honest. Who likes Little Nicky? No one. Uh, nobody. 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 Nobody likes that movie. Hey, nobody. They shoved the pineapple up Hitler's ass in that movie. So. Alex, Does would you like to like wrap things movie? up for tonight? <laughs> On that note, pineapple's up the ass for Hitler. Uh, thank you all for watching this review. Len, thank you so much for being here in I the studio with us. This, this was great. This was fantastic. Here. Joe, thank you again. Thank you very much. It was much. Uh, wonderful to have you guys. Steel Dawn is on the docket. Oh, um, the yes. next time you're in Vegas, we're watching it, and we're going to do the same thing we did tonight, because this was one of the most enjoyable experiences I've had on this podcast. You have no idea, This was dude. so fun. You Make have no note. idea. I yeah. can't believe you haven't seen Steel Dawn. Make a note to start up little Nikki for the first five seconds. <laughs> just oh, Jesus to, just to light him up. Go. You're gonna, you're, you're gonna. I, I'm aware of some 2023 language, and you're gonna, you're gonna what the kids call trigger me, and I'm gonna fucking freak, dude. Oh, no. you know what I'm saying? Lynn and Joe, where can people find more of you and sign up for to support? Yeah, your stuff? Joe. Yeah, Joe. Very very simple. OzoneNightmare.com. Just go there, and everything I do, you will find links to there. Very simple. Excellent. And Lynn also has a great Patreon. Uh, yeah, but uh, I love this man with all my heart. I can't do what I do on there lately without Joe. We've done tons of great podcasts that got terminated uh, by <laughs> YouTube. Uh, but I want to let YouTube, as Elton John would say, I'm still standing, so uh, you can come at me whenever you want, but I'm just going to keep going. It's not expecting and, an Elton John reference. That's and, good. And I, I cannot, you know, do what I do without people uh, like Joe. And yeah, it, you can go to patreon.com slash Killer Wolf Films. You can, you can't. You I don't, should. You should. You should. I mean, I'm not going to say I don't care because I do. Um, I want to continue what I what I do, and that's just making fun stuff for people. Um, I'm mildly surprised you haven't seen Steel Dawn. We'll get there. And um, <laughs> it's going to bug him now. It's it mildly. That's okay. It's all right. It, it's it's not uh, yeah. It's, not I, sleep. <laughs> it's like an, it, he it's, can't believe that we've it, seen. It, I'm going to get a text message. I'm gonna <laughs> get a text I've never message. seen that right. movie. You've, you've <laughs> seen Zohan about a Jewish hairdresser that's like a superhero. <laughs> no, I have not seen that but, movie. But, but uh, don't put that on my have reputation. You? Have you? No, I haven't. Okay. I've seen the clip of the feet. Thing. Okay, it's a yes or no answer. You don't have to make excuses. It's yes or no. Um. I'll take that as a no. No. Um, anyways, yeah, you know, it's at patreon.com slash killer wolf films. Okay. My movies are on there. You can download them. You can watch them whenever you want. As all my stuff shifts to like Vimeo and stuff now, uh, everything's going to continue. Uh, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So, uh, you know, I I've got a wonderful support network around me and stuff. And, uh, and, and, and Joe is a humongous part of that. I have a blast with, with, with so many podcasts we've done throughout the years like this where we talk about movies uh, that we think you should watch. Um, that being said, I love Jaws the Revenge. Anyways, you guys go ahead. All right. Uh, just a quick reminder, if you want to watch the full-length commentary of The Hunted, go to saltynerdclub.com, sign up. It's only $5 a month. You will get that commentary, plus a huge library that I mentioned before. We're talking... A library. There's an R library. in there. It's a There's an R in there. It's library. not library. I'm slightly it, it, inebriated, it, it, Len. <laughs> I've been drinking a lot of vodka. I'm just, I'm just trying to help you out, man. Because <laughs> the somebody's... The empty, Len. Somebody, somebody's going <laughs> to <Fuck>. chime in. <laughs> Alex said library. It's a library. She's going to the library. Yeah, you know, anyway. There's an R there. They're going to be gunning for my Wachowski <laughs> way before that. <laughs> <laughs> saltynerdclub.com guys head over there to help support the podcast and uh, thank you for watching this review uh, this was a fantastic time if you happen to be watching this and you're part of the red letter media people uh, come to Vegas because we want to hang out with you as well I don't know if any of you guys are watching this probably I don't know not about that I don't know I don't I... probably not but <laughs> We got to get you in Vegas, but, but we're very grateful. Lynn came out to Vegas. To yeah, come into no, our studio. No, no, I'm grateful to you guys and your fans. I hope they had a good time with this thing. Hopefully, that that's a cross promotional thing, and they come check my stuff out. You don't have to, but uh, you should. And uh, I, I think if you like what what you're doing, they'd like what I'm doing, and uh, you know, we go from there, kind of thing. But uh, 
Uh, I had a great time on this thing, and we're going to do more stuff, obviously, this weekend. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys are doing a live stream on Stay Saturday, right? Stay tuned. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks again. Stay salty. Hey, guys. If you like this podcast, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and comment below on your favorite video as well. That goes a long way with helping us boost our channel and get out there in front of more people. And it lets uh, YouTube know that we're doing something right. And if you want to catch us live, we go live two times a week, once on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific time and on Tuesdays at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time. So join us there in the chat. We will see you on the live stream. Stay salty.